Good afternoon, it's October, it's Sunday. We are back from Florida, so let's get back out to the zoo and see what's new and what's changed. We're at Chester and it's unseasonably warm. Lovely. It's like 25 degrees. The zoo's heaving as a result. Well, I honestly didn't expect us in October to be wearing shorts and t-shirts in the zoo after two weeks in Florida and not be freezing cold. But here we are. And we got the Halloween decorations up. There is a Halloween event on at the zoo. It's a, I think it's a similar thing that we did last year. A vast quantity of pumpkins and time warp playing at the uh, at H Adventure HQ. <laughs> so we're going to head into Ireland first. Run around Ireland, maybe grab a bite to eat over there. I should say the uh, Halloween event is the, it's the trail that they did last year where you go around and do stamps and things. And it's included with the price, isn't it? Yeah, like stickers and stuff when you finish oh, this right, time. Okay. This year it was a swizzle, this year it's stickers. I think that's better. Yeah. Can no longer get down past to see the rhinos. That's changed. We're just about oh, to go and see them. Oh, and there's, your, there's the map for the Halloween trail. That's a Halloween boat ride. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fun. Maybe we come on a weekday. Yeah, there. maybe, yeah. <laughs> kind of hard to see from here, but uh, the new Africa section has gone vertical. There's a new house over there being built. Very interesting. Always got to check in, make sure the uh, Tamanduas are sleeping soundly and can confirm. <laughs> like the tail twisted round the back as well. There's a jammer. And there's the sign up for uh, Heart of Africa coming in 2025. Seems like a while away, but I remember being in the same situation with islands. There's a better look at that construction. How's that? I'm going to say that looks like a giraffe house. It's huge. Yeah. We think the. Uh, Halloween stuff is all pretty much in Ireland because all the pumpkins are leading us this way and I forgot to actually look at what was on that map <laughs> despite showing it on the video so you probably know better than me. Yeah definitely on the Halloween trail. You appear to be doing it by accident. And there's one of the boats going past with spooky bunting. <laughs> yeah. Trying to find the pigs and there's a, an assorted pile of them over by the house over there. <laughs> The boat ride's also got some cutouts, some uh, of like some animals and some like a witch and stuff. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The boat ride is included in your ticket price at Chester Zoo, which is I think is really good. Well, those tree kangaroos there. The youngsters looking as big as mum. Mm. Beautiful markings on the backs. Got a pad of melon here as well. I'm the baby in the house, but yeah. here and I think it's not in the it's off, off, off exploring on its own now. Mm. There's a youngster down there. Oh, We have a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> no boats here at the minute, there's more Halloween decoration just over the other side as oh, well. Yeah. And there's your uh, happy Halloween <laughs> decorations. It's not a visit to uh, islands if we don't check in with the band tank. There's a young one down there as well. Seems like our look at uh, spotting tigers hasn't changed. Some pictures I've seen recently have been in this side. Right, so we'll go with this uh, tiger enclosure basically two sided. Um, historically they've been on the side we've just looked at. Uh, but over by the pond we might be able to see them there. In fact last time we came I think they were one of yeah, they were on uh, mum and dad were over by the pond. We'll go and see, but, um, see if they're there. One of our friends got some pictures of them in the water. Oh good. Mm. So far so no tigers. The zoo has upped its blinky game over there. Yeah, unfortunately we were denied tigers, but uh, if you don't see the birds inside, that window is usually a good place to spot them. <laughs> we'll carry on our island's journey and see what else we can see. We've seen a lot of pumpkins today. <laughs> We're going to give Monsoon a miss, just because it's really busy today. And it'll feel like Florida, isn't it? And it'll feel like Florida, <laughs> yeah. There's bats hanging from the bridge over there. Oh, yeah. Plastic bats, admittedly. Discover the secret life of newts. 
Great piece of newts there. A single egg on a leaf and wrap it inside. We've actually seen newts in the zoo as well. It's a Halloween boat ride. <laughs> and the digital theatre's open at the minute as well. You can sometimes pop in there. Maybe in the winter when it's a bit colder. <laughs> Trying to get as much daylight and steps as we can while the weather's good. All went out for the pineapple stand. <laughs> Don't pull one out, the floor will end up sticky. Any babaroos today? Yeah. We're gonna see if we can grab a bite to eat. Oh yeah. I can't, oh yeah, I was gonna say I can't even see them, but if you look. The yeah. Just gonna grab, grab a quick bite to eat in here and Gemma's just gonna drop her glasses on the floor. <laughs> this is the uh, Sumatra coffee shop. Gemma's eyeing up the couch. Quite a nice table as well. Uh, we got the beef sandwich and the bang bang chicken sandwich and then a couple of iced coffees and a water as well. We always like the food in here. It's a, a, a nice place to grab a bite to eat. And the beef sandwich was good, but this thing's massive. If I drop this on my foot, and I'll, I'll break it. Oh, now we're on the move again. Over by the Spectacle Bears, looking out for our first new spot. We have seen him already, but of course the minute I got the camera out, he wandered off. Mm. And there he is, Hello. Oberon. I can smell you. And then he has moved on, and this is our new guy now. Mm, sounds like a squirrel. He's huge. <coughs> coming over? <coughs> oh, well. oh, Ron was up on here, wasn't he? He was, he's massive. Nice to see him. Also, we've got uh, Asher and the youngster out here. The... Jaya, did you say? Yeah. Gemma's the names person. Uh, the fact that I managed to remember the name Asher. And then he is over the back, over the. So... <laughs> Making the most of the, w of the mud. She's coming right towards us. Yeah. Look at that youngster. Seems to be getting a bit more luck with the animals later in the day now. Mm -hmm. It's cool down now a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit tired. Get out of the way. The rhinos tend to be quite clean and they go in the same spot. And sure enough we were expecting her to do her um, duties here. Another spot for us. Maybe mandrel. Do you mean just the Yeah, that's a good spot, Gemma. <laughs> Get a left and off we go. Yeah, I just wandered down to look at this onager here and didn't even see this. Flat out camel. <laughs> Even this one's having a lie down on the pillar. Come down to the uh, Akarpi enclosure. I can see an Akarpi bum down there. And a diker there as well. Have a look at the giraffes. Yeah. There we turn up and they all just wander in. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it's dinner time. 
can actually hear the keeper calling them all. <laughs> yeah. Sure enough, they're all having some food. The colours on the uh, Gaboon Viper today look fantastic. <laughs> Heading through tropical realm, of, co of course we are building towards hopefully trying to see the Jaguar again, who we missed on our last visit. She's proving quite elusive. Oh. We went all the way to Florida and saw her some bit and there's one here all along. We've been having a bath. Oh, that's a bit tall different. Although, to be honest, we could have changed it ages ago because we've not been down here for a while. Curacao? Curacao? There's something else in here as well. Right up at the back, there's some birds. You can really see them on the camera though. We've got the rhinoceros hornbills here, being cheeky as usual. Not really been over this side for quite a while, to be honest. We normally just walk straight through and out the back, but it'd be nice to come for a little wander around here. And always nice things to see. Uh, the doves there. And Gemma did just point out that there was a bleeding heart dove like literally looking at me on the floor down here. It's just wandered down this way actually. There it is. Won't get too close. This has a great collection of hornbills. This is a sunder wrinkled hornbill. And the white winged duck still knocking about here. Look at the young bulbul bull there by the looks of it. A little scruffy looking that. Pretty pretty. And both spectacle came and side by side. Another swing. No exiting via the gift shop here, you exit via the eye eyes. Should do that more often, I like that. And the giant jumping rats. I'm not sure what you'll see of it, but the eye eye is quite active. Mm. <laughs> well, you can see the other today. She moved. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh, on, let's try our luck with Jaguars again. No, um, females not about, but Napo's there. Well, things have changed at least. We've seen Napo in outside. We'll hang around a bit longer and see if we can see a female. Is it Inca? Inca. I keep forgetting names, I'm terrible. We're going to have a little walk through. It's handy that she's like Inky Black, so it's nice yes. so it's easy to remember a name. But we'll have a walk through, see if we can see anything inside. I'll see the sloths. Yeah, see the sloths and see the bush dogs and the fish. And the tranchera. Hmm. Not very often you see the bush dogs still, but there's one under the tree over there just relaxing. A lot of people peer peering into the enclosure, but we haven't seen anything. Including someone who said, what's the point in paying if you can't see anything? Which is a weird tech. So I actually think I can see it, but that's not something you're going to be able to see very easily. I'll point out on the camera. Here and Sawing. Sounds like he's cutting wood. I think we mentioned this coffee spot had opened up, but now the new educational hub, hub's opened as well. Got a bit of a tidy up. And yeah, and the new playground's over there as well. 
There used to be a little shop here, looks like they've moved on with the shop, which probably explains why the new coffee shop's just down there. Damn, that was the second place to get Dole Whip. Oh, you never know, this one oh, might no, do Dole Whip as well. You got some new signage for us as well. And a round window. <laughs> which window should we go through today? Oh, that's showing what my was age, that? Jenna. Play school. Play school. Yeah. I believe the Planet Shark exhibition is ending soon. I wonder if they'll use that space for something else, fingers crossed. Well, since I didn't really recognisably see Inca, I just suspect I did. And Gemma confirmed the sighting. I'm still going to say I haven't really seen it yet. No, you couldn't really see it. You no, you could just see that it was a white cat. Yeah. But Napo put on a good show, so yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Well, nice a flash of colour from the flamingos today. Are they going in? They're certainly on the move. Hmm, looks nice here now. No events on today though. Very nice. I'm not sure there's going to be a huge, huge amount to see, but let's have a sneaky look around the back where more construction is occurring. We're right next to the oak field now. We missed the owls out. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of construction going on here. I can see poles. This is going to be the new snow leopard enclosure, which should be opening next year, I think. Yeah, it's going to be Yeah, so I'm excited to come back and check this out. Lots of rock work being built here. Yeah, they brought in special rock. All right. And then uh, there'll be a mesh, I'm assuming, going over the top of this. Yeah, it looks like it's a little Yeah. Snow leopards, obviously, very good climbers. We'll definitely be back when this is finished and ready for us to see. <laughs> I like that you say we'll definitely be back. Yeah, we'll be back yeah, other many other times before <laughs> that as well. <laughs> Should say as well. Um, the renovation or the building of the snow leopard enclosure has meant that the red panda enclosure is also no longer showing any animals they're currently in realm of the reddit or well, hopefully as part of that build maybe they'll be getting a new enclosure i don't know but yeah there's a lot of uh, a lot of the back walls gone <coughs> despite the uh, child and people screeching the uh, cheetah is show here? Yeah, I got one with it. Slight go warning because he is tucking into his lunch. He was tucking into his lunch. The same thing, God, there's loads of people up there. Yeah. It's a little. You're right, mister. That was that comfy. Yeah, hunkered down. You love me. Ooh, we are quite lucky today, we got a spectacled owl right up at the front of the enclosure. Looking away from me, like, but you can still see the... Uh... Half turned, I can see yeah, he has turned his head slightly. Oh, there you go, I don't know. This is a nice treat though, beautiful animal. Well, bird. <laughs> Typically when I wasn't recording, he turned round and looked right at us and beautiful yellow eyes. And now, back the other way again. That would be nice. There is a, oh no we're not gonna no. that's not flying <laughs> or looking around is it? That's not the theme of the day. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot more elegant than the rhino. There you go. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Difficult to actually keep our track on him at four or five times a room, but <laughs> nice. we're enjoying the other one. So it helps to protect forests, not just in Madagascar, but right around the world. You can help loads of animals just by looking for that. It's on wooden pencils, it's on 
Milk okay. books, it's on toilet paper, it's on everything. So have a little look for that one and you'll know that you're protected your fossa. So that is bringing us on to the end of our talk. The free fullness of talks activities today. Have a little look at the anchor on the website. Thank you very much for listening and enjoy your day. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, we go through a range of different things. So if we ate the same stuff every day, we'd get bored. And it's the same for them. So sometimes they get things like chicks, they'll get rodents. Uh, some days I don't think they get as big as a rabbit just because the ones are still young. Um, but yeah. No lemurs. No lemurs, no. <laughs> don't worry, our lemurs are nice and safe. That's why they don't share a habitat. <laughs> sometimes they can see each other through the fence though. And that people sometimes look at that and think, oh, that's cruel. Yeah. But in the wild, they'd be able to see each other and smell each other. So it's natural for them. The only difference is people can actually get to each other. I feel bad. My son was saying it's just so sad. Yeah, you've just got the correct Malagasy pronunciation. There you go, you speak the native tongue. Yeah, there's a fire crack about today. Well, we just looked in here and couldn't see this one, so it has come out since. I see it very well, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's lovely and warm. I'd said there was two things that we needed to see today, or try to see today. But actually there's three, I'd forgotten one. And one of them's in here. Actually four with the bonus mandrel baby. And we always enjoy coming to see the Komodo dragons. Today's no exception, with them showing very well and looking right at us. Mm -hmm. In addition to the adult, we have this youngster. He was born this year. <laughs> looking down on us. The difference in size is impressive. Another bonus find, Gemma just found that there's a young Argus pheasant chick <laughs> who's quite flighty as well. <laughs> so, oh, fell off and then ran round. Argus chick fruit zoomies and there goes mum after it. <laughs> oh, that's fun. We have about half an hour before the zoo shuts. So we're just going to try our luck over at the Jaguars again. You never know. We're going to sloth on the move this time around. Well, this fantastic aquarium again. Oh, we've been lucky this time. I was like coming back to us now. And the only one is probably outside. Sad and coarse, and I'm huge. Is she young, right? She's like slim and slinky, isn't she? I don't know. A little bit more footage of her while we're uh, here. First chance to see her. You can see her rosy hat markings on her back. Oh, wow, she is a black jaguar. She's still sporty. Who's that? Who's that? Look. Can you see? Look, there, there. What's that? Yes. Is it a cat? Yes. Is it a meow meow? Yes. Happy with that. Sometimes it's worth revisiting somewhere a little bit later on outside the normal hours you would. And in this case we were lucky and managed to see Inca finally. Uh, she's beautiful, very rangy, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Big paws as well. Not that kind of paws. Anyway, we got chatting and it's now half past, so we're not gonna have to we're gonna have to give the lines of missing head straight for the exit because we don't want to stay any later than we should. Which is no. So, <laughs> so we're gonna crack off and uh, see you at the front of the zoo. Yeah, we got one more minute to get out of the zoo or else they'll just be shutting things behind us. Now have you had a good day? Yeah, yeah. Good, Thanks yes, me too. 
and uh, nice to have an unexpected surprise visit to the zoo. Uh, I'm sure we'll be back soon enough though, see Inca again. Hopefully next time I'll bring the camera, get some better photos. <laughs> yeah, some bonus ringtail lemurs on the way out. Yeah, this is, the, this is the, the, the lemur island that's been here a bit longer than the, the uh, Madagascar lemur enclosure. What was your favourite animal? Today? Yeah. Um, um, the baby landra. No, the rhino. Mine was either Inca or um, the uh, Komodo dragon. Oh, Komodo dragon. Little baby one. She was very cute. Yeah. Told us. It was a good day though. Yeah, I meant to mention this earlier. It looks like the. Uh, the old cafe here has gone, a little sh uh, snacks stop. Maybe we'll get a new one soon. It's like they've been replacing quite a few of them, the older ones anyway. Late evening gone ago. You know, we didn't check for the dogs. We didn't get over that way either. Oh, yeah. A bit late now though. Everyone's filing the way out of the zoo. Don't even think there's going to be time for a shop today, I don't know. Maybe a quick run through. Oh, that's been a rhino footage on the way out as well. One well, of the keepers is down here. I think they're interested in what's going on. Fudge. I'm going to sneaky run through the shop. We still need to pick up some coffee actually. They've got the teas as well and a vast selection of gold animals. The sparkly tiger. Oh, and forgot to mention there is a bit of construction at the entrance at the minute in the car park. So I think we'll call it there. Really good day. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm sure we'll catch up again soon with more zoo visits. Possibly next month. Mm -hmm. Possibly earlier. You never know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.